That's Tibbet and the pink shrimp fly. Hang us. Gotta be the world's first Tibbet on a fly rod. And that's my second Tibbet of the year. Tiny little thing. So I've got nothing to measure him with. So I'm going to use this hook discorger, and I'll measure it when I get home. Always forget it. So from the mouth, the tip of the tail. Fucking shaking. This might be a world's first. Exactly the length of the shaft on the discorger. So I'll measure that when I get home. Put a notch in with my knife. There's the notch. So I'll throw them back. I love catching these things. So the turbot is Seven and a half inches long, and find the notch. Five and a half inches wide. Finally caught a flounder on the fly rod on a little spinner and you're not gonna believe this. I fucking snapped another rod. This is my favourite rod as well. It's my ten foot eight weight um Shakespeare. It just snapped. I cannot fucking believe that. That's fucking pissed me right off. How the fu- I, There was absolutely no pressure on it whatsoever and it just went. <sighs> fucking annoying. Anyway, there's the founder. I've finally achieved. 
that. I've been trying to catch a founder on a fire rod for ages and I've finally done it. Not really worth breaking a rod for, but there you go. I cannot fucking believe that. That's like a 55 pound rod. I've only used it about three times. Luckily I've just got a brand new fly rod which is a second generation of this one. But it's a 10 weight. And I hope to fucking god that one doesn't break. That's it for today. I'm actually really happy I got my target species over the past two or three weeks I've probably put about 60, 70 hours in trying to catch a flounder I don't think it's ever been done in the UK and I've finally done it so I'm really happy with that and I'm really happy about that turbot as well actually caught three fish I don't know what the other one was though I got it on this brown shrimp and the shank of the hook snapped at the bend so I lost that fish, and that's supposed to be for bone fish, that fly, so I wouldn't recommend this for bone fishing. And uh, of course the other fail was, I snapped my favourite rod right there on the tip, well on the tip section at the bottom. Don't know what, how that happened, but uh, it just snapped. And then all of the fly line got tangled in the rocks. So I grabbed the leader and I ran into the water and I just followed the leader down to the fish and I pulled the fish up that way just in case the leader broke. But yeah. And I got the last flounder on this one which I think is called a demon flicker. It's like a spinner for uh, trout and salmon and mackerel. I thought I would give that one a go when it got dark. So it's got blades and obviously gives vibrations and whatnot and a little bit of flash. Unfortunately you couldn't really see that because I could see perfectly fine but the camera wasn't picking it up so it was dark on the camera. And I didn't know that until I took the camera off my head to show the fish and I realised it was pitch black so... I had to run to the bag and get the torch. But yeah, that's my video for today. And as far as the fly reel goes, I got my Okuma SLV 78 with 8 weight, floating line, and a 20 foot leader, which is 10 foot of 18 pound mono tapers down to 10 foot, which is what I tie the fly onto. So that's it, that's my video for today. Thanks for watching Tight Lines everyone, mission accomplished.